Hey everyone, in this video we will solve an exponential equation problem from USA High School Math. The question says, find the value of x for this equation, 5 raised power x minus 24 equal to 25 y 5 raised power x. So if you notice here, this term 5 raised power x is common in both sides. So we can assume this has some other variable. So let's say this is t. So I can rewrite this equation as t minus 24 equal to 25 raised power. 25 by t. Now you can name this any other variable as well. x, pi, whatever you wish. Now we can multiply this so we can rewrite this as t into t minus 24 equal to 25. You multiply them get t square minus 24 t equal to 25. So t square minus 24 t minus 25 equal to 0. So this is my quadratic equation. T square minus 24 T minus 25 equal to 0. Now we can factorize this minus 25 T plus T minus 25 equal to 0. We can take T common from here. T into T minus 25 plus 1 into T minus 25 equal to 0. From here we can rewrite this as T plus 1 into T minus 25 to 0. So from here we will get t equal to minus 1 and t equal to 25. Now this is not my answer. We have assumed 5x, 5 raised power x equal to t. So these two values are for 5 raised power x. So we have got 5 raised power x has two values minus 1 and 5 raised power x equal to 25. Now this is not possible, right? If you graph any a raised power x. So this would always be a of the x-axis. So there is no possible value of x for which I am going to get negative negative number of x. So 5 raised power x can never be negative. So it means that this is rejected. I am not going to get any solution from this. Now let us discuss this one. Now this is quite a straightforward, right? x equal to 2 is my solution. If you put x equal to 2, that would be 5, 5 squared, that would be equal to 25. So it means that x equal to 2 is my only solution. Also, you don't, you cannot say that x equal to 2 is my solution because you will first have to put it back into your original equation because there is a chance that it might lead to some undefined thing, right? So it is suggested that you, you always put it back into original equation. So let's put it back here. So 5 raised power x, that would be 25 minus 24 equal to 25 by 5 raised power 2 that would be 25. So from LHS I got 1 and from RHS I also got 1. So this means that x equal to 2 satisfies my original equation. So we can say that x equal to 2 is my only solution for this equation. So don't forget this last step. This is very important. People often make mistake that they don't check and sometimes they miscalculate. Okay. So thank you. I hope you like the solution.